Yes, sir. Look at that. Looks so clean. Pete's Auto, man, they do all my stuff. Those are the, I gotta fix this headliner so the door will close, but this is the headliner. I got the two B pillar trims over there. Uh, I gotta get up there now. Yeah. There we go. But, got those over there. And my truck is looking like a parts yard. It's full of shit. But I got the eight pillar ones over here. These are the back ones by the back glass. This is for the headliner and he did the visors too. The visors came out pretty good. All the boxes you see over here is all for the build. So I gotta get those unloaded to the shop. So that's where I'm gonna go now. We're gonna drop this stuff off. And then I have to go to PS and drop off this box of seat belts so I can ship them out to safety restore and get those uh the white bank changed on them. So that's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna drop those parts off to the shop first, and then we're gonna head down to UPS. All right, so I'm just leaving the shop. I dropped off all the pieces. Um, I'm probably gonna come back tonight because I want to get this thing started and uh, finish up the interior. But for now, I'm running out of time. I have to be at work in uh, about an hour. I want to go drop this package off to the UPS so we can get the seat belts back on time and um, blow this thing up, get it ready for pickup. So for some reason, the UPS that I usually go to is closed. So I'm just gonna go to this FedEx real quick um, and then get this thing shipped out. So that didn't work. I just left the FedEx, which is right over there. They wouldn't ship it because it says this on it. So I guess this is like a hazmat situation where it's like a safety thing. So I'm going to, I'm going to uh, replace the box. They didn't have a box this small or this size and the boxes they had were huge and uh, I'll probably ship it out tomorrow morning. So that's a delay, but it is what it is. And then now I'm going to get ready for work. And then probably tonight I will, um, I will go to the shop and install all those trim pieces and then get it started for the first time. It's that time. What do you think, boy? What do you think, boy? I can't believe that. stuck on my foot. Here, I'll show you, watch. I'm not in a track, I'm not in nothing. I'm in just regular auto, right? 
and I hit it and the traction like came on like at 60. It was burning out at 60 miles per hour and I'm on drag radials or that's what you want to call them. I freaking love it. It's on a, I got a thermostat, the um, upgrade, that's why it's still running cool. But other than that, oh my God, this thing is like a freaking roller coaster. So right now I'm going to go pump with a full tank. Um, it's on the 85, so I'm going to pull that up to the tank, and then I'm going to take it to um, what is it, flagship, get it ready, and then I'm probably going to take over the parts tomorrow and then uh, get this thing worked on and get the body work done. But I can't freaking wait. I don't know if you can hear it, but the supercharger one got so much louder. This is the wrong exit. Let me see if I can take the other exit. I still got to do the turn signals. That's why they're flashing like that. Well, here, let me see if I can open it up for you guys for a bit. This thing's a freaking beast. Alright. <laughs> oh my god. The wine got like 10 times louder. I'm not even joking. I don't know if the camera can pick it up. But yeah, I'm headed down to the gas station now. I'm gonna put recording and then uh, once we get there, I'll fill it up and then we'll drive it down to the flagship. Damn man, the gas station that I usually go to for E is out and they got the thing taped around. Damn. Now the closest one is like about 15 minutes away from here. So I'm not gonna worry about it, I got a half a tank. It shouldn't run out, I mean it's gonna be parked at the body shop. So let's go down to flagship and then uh, drop it down there. Or I'm probably gonna get out of the car for a second, I'll show you guys around before I go there. And I'm freaking excited. We made it to the shop. There's a lot of potholes there. I don't know where you want to to park. That's it, we're gonna drop her off. He's gonna take care of it. He's just moving the cars out the way so we can pull it in. But I got this up. Oh, I can't show you it. Eh? But uh, this thing is just nuts. There's like no such thing as traction. And I got these tires on too. Look at how it idles. It sounds like it's cabbed. It's really not though. We'll wait for him to move those cars out the way. We'll pull in the back and then uh, get her dropped off. And then I have to go to the house and grab the hood and the bumper and stuff. But dude, this thing is this is gonna be one hell of a summer.
Right. All right, now we're back to the TRX. Cold start. Detail tomorrow, but no, I'm on the way to work because I have to be at work at 12 today. Um, but yeah, I got the car dropped off the flagship. He brought me back home to get my truck, and like I said, I'm gonna pick up the parts from my garage, um, probably on the weekend, like Saturday or something, and then take it down to him so he can start on the body work and uh, finish it up. Well, yeah, guys, that's gonna be it for today's video. We picked up the car after a long two months, I've been waiting really patiently to get the car back. And then now it's time to get the body work done and finally get this thing on the road and enjoy it. So um, stay tuned for that. We also got the build going on with the charger. Um, and I got a lot of stuff coming for you guys. I'm almost done with the Hellcat build. I'm just waiting on a couple more parts from the dealership so I can bond this thing up and get it ready for pickup for the customer. So that's going to be coming up soon as well. But I appreciate you guys for watching and I'll see you guys back in the next video.